Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about coding apps and why they are overrated. So we're gonna be talking about specifically three different things about coding apps. Number one, the premise or the concept behind them. Number two, their target audience. And number three, how they actually work and are they really worth it? So the idea behind a coding app is actually pretty cool. It's an accessible, easy, and free way to learn coding on the go. And it's accessible to everyone. Anyone can download apps off the App Store and apps like Mimo and other coding apps are completely free. So the concept is really positive, but learning on the go and learning on your phone isn't the best thing because I just feel like learning on a computer, just like typing out stuff is a lot more helpful and you're not gonna be working at jobs on your phone, obviously. You're not gonna be doing web development on your phone. So why learn things like web development and app design on an app when you're gonna be doing it on a computer? To be honest, getting reps in is really important when you're doing coding, doing exercises and tasks and all of that. And I think if you're trying to build muscle memory, being comfortable in an environment, you have to be building reps in somewhere that you're gonna be applying your ability. So using a computer, in my opinion, is the best way to do that. But honestly, coding apps, the way they're designed and the way they're, they appear, they're very aesthetic. They use concepts that are very simple to understand. Um, and for someone who's a beginner, they can be very appealing. So to go off of that, for the beginner, it's very appealing because the way they're designed. You can see all the apps when you type in coding in the app store, the way they're designed, they appeal to a very specific target audience. And that's teens and younger kids between the ages of 10 and 15 who have heard a little bit about programming and coding, but aren't really versed in the topic and want to learn more and want accessibility to all this knowledge, but they want it on their phone. But once you actually get on the app, it's kind of easy to understand from a more advanced point of view that these apps are for beginners and beginners only and there are a lot of catches and ways to make users who don't really know a lot about the resources that are out there to make them pay um, Mimo previously had you could do like one or two exercises and then you had to pay fifty dollars up front and a lot of other apps are doing all of these subscription based things where you kind of use it for a month and then you never use it again and they're charging you without you knowing so they're really deceptive that way. So if you're going to use a coding app and you're a beginner, please do, but make sure that if you're paying for something, you're consistently using it. Okay, so I have the app here on an iOS device. So we're gonna open it up and we'll show you a little bit of how everything works. So we're gonna open up the app and the app has a pretty cool design here. So let's see what we're greeted with. So you have to get started. And I'm, I'm going to say just for fun. And I'm going to say, obviously, I'm a high school student. And I'm going to say I have a lot of uh, coding experience to see what they can. Okay, so I can choose between web development and Python. Interesting. Um, I'm going to choose Python because that's just my area of expertise. And how much time do you want to spend learning? Five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day. That's serious. All right, let's go for casual. Let's see what they give us. And I don't want to set a reminder, but that's cool that they can set reminders now. Um, I'm going to continue with Google. Okay, so already we're greeted with Mimo Pro, unlimited access to all courses, hands-on exercises and projects. 30 days free and then $80 a year. Okay, I'm going to skip that obviously. So now they're going to put together a personalized curriculum uh, based off of the survey we took. Awesome. So I love. Obviously the design here is perfect. Like obviously whoever made this app put in a lot of effort, you can tell. Um, so it describes, you know, language, Python is great. No matter how complex the problem is, it begins with a single line of code. This is awesome for a beginner, it's awesome. But I selected um, a lot of experience. So let's see what it gives me here. Is this just the introduction? Tap in variable name city. Okay, city, fine. What have we got here? All right, so this is some like basic exercises. 
Uh, if we want a variable name with multiple words, we can use snake case. Snake case means using underscore to connect. Okay, great. This is good. I, I, I like this app, the way it's designed, but it's not for, you can tell obviously off the bat, it's not for experienced people to use. And we're gonna go through this. Um, I'm just gonna speed run this really quickly so we can get through. Uh, what do computers use variable? Tense. So in our home screen, we can see like this really, okay, we have like coins and then we have these sparks things, which is like, like a streak on the app to tell us how many days we've been using the app, which is really cool. I wanna go to the browse section. Okay, so now we have all of these really cool courses. All right, so we have loops, organizing data, all of this stuff, but from what I can see, uh, it's really useful. I like it. I would prefer for it to be a little less, you know, with barriers, like a little less barriers and you don't have to do every exercise and you can like touch upon different projects if you want to. But from what I see here, I really like it. I would say it is more for beginners. And if you're actually just trying to learn coding really quickly, I would choose something like free code camp or code Academy or like at a bit or data camp. I, I can leave all the links in the description. This is for pure beginners who really don't understand anything about coding, what it means, the context of it, um, need to understand a little bit more about variables and like the real basics. But if you're just trying to learn code or prepare for an interview, obviously I would use a different um, a website and I'll leave those down in the description. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you'd enjoyed my comprehensive review of coding apps, specifically Mimo. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. But for now, thank you guys for watching.